What's up, Scorpio? Um, so I'm going to be doing my channel a little bit differently instead of the daily readings. I'm moving to a little more of a relaxed pace. Um, I, I just don't, didn't feel like it was going to be sustainable for me to continue uploading 12 videos a day, even though it was super fun. Um, what with full-time job and being a single mom and, and all that. So I wanted to be more realistic, mm, boring, <laughs> but be more realistic about what I can actually do. So um, today's reading is a monthly reading for August for you guys. And then next week, I'm going to start doing weekly readings. So still something every week for you guys. It's just not as much, not every day. So it'll still be good. <laughs> okay, so let's hop in. Um, Scorpios, I feel like some of you are getting a bit distracted by superficial things here. All that glitters. Um, I feel like you've maybe chosen a partner or significant other based on some superficial qualities. Um, and that's not me dissing you on that. <laughs> I feel like when I say it like that, it sounds like a diss, but it's not. Um, but you've also got loyal heart. So I think like, I, I almost feel like this person isn't as sweet as you are. Okay. Um, I feel like you have, yeah, like a true, genuine, loyal heart. Um, but you've placed it in someone that's really not for you. Okay. Um, so as your current energies, you've got the chariot here. So I feel like you're ready to take some action, um, regarding this. The overarching energy of this entire reading is the tower. So not only are you ready for change, I mean, I don't think you're going to have a choice, <laughs> but I think it's going to be changed for the best. Okay. Um, because I feel like your situ your, what's happening right now is you're in this five of swords situation that has you feeling kind of taken advantage of, um, feeling a little bit left out in the cold. Um, just overall unappreciated, um, maybe feeling a little left behind by this person. Um, I feel like you ha have been in a place where you've been kind of trying to deny that truth, um, that maybe they're just not being fair to you and treating you the way that you deserve to be treated. So I feel like you're kind of ready to leave behind this page of wands here. I feel like you're kind of ready to leave behind this person that's not totally mature enough for you. Um, and move more into a balanced, fair partnership. I think you're really ready for that. Um, you're also coming across as the lover's card here. So this is a choice card. It's also, um, it can also be like a, you know, like a soul maze or twin flame kind of card. And in this instance, I feel like that's kind of what, I feel like that's what's going to open up for you once you have settled this matter with this other person. Um, of course, I do think it's going to cause you some stress here. Um, Nine of Swords. I mean, no, no separation is painless. So, you know, take time to heal um, and really mourn that past that lost relationship um, I feel like you're kind of also in a headspace where uh, I don't know how to put it like you're you're kind of afraid to love someone like this knight of cups that's like romantic and chivalrous and um, someone who would take care of you I feel like you're almost afraid to love someone like that um, and that could just be because of, you know, like childhood wounds that need to be healed. I'm going to tell you though, you deserve this person that would take really good care of you. Okay. This, this person would not have you feeling like this. Okay. 
okay? Your outcome is the empress. So, you know, moving past people that don't treat you right, um, maybe look good on the outside, but maybe aren't as good on the inside, aren't as, aren't as pretty on the inside as you would like them to be. Um, letting go of people like that and really realizing your worth that you deserve someone who gives as much as you give and who loves as much as you love, okay? And I feel like this person, this Knight of Cups, is the person that can give that to you. All right, so I pulled a couple extra Oracle cards because I felt like this was very love-oriented. Um, so we've got finances and career. Um, so financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. I think this is going with this All That Glitters card. Um, I'm wondering if you got mixed up in a relationship where you almost feel financially dependent on them, like they're the breadwinner. Um, But I don't think that's the be-all end-all for you, you know. Um, you got a lot of passion to share. Um, but with you feeling like this in this current relationship or, you know, the relationship you just ended, um, you really can't express this beautiful love, energy, passion. <laughs> um, that's not the opportunity for you. So the person coming in, this Knight of Cups, I feel like that's the person you'll be ready to share passion with so be open to it when it presents itself okay because you also have past life relationship so again i feel like this is a twin flame soulmate opportunity okay with the lovers the knight of cups and this past life relationship card so really do the work to um mourn that past relationship um, and sit in your truth and seek to have a more balanced union with someone. Um, but I do think this Knight of Cups person is the person that's going to treat you, that's going to treat you right. And it's a very important relationship. Okay. So Scorpio, good luck in August. You got a lot going on. So, um, have a great day. I will see you next week.